Hi and welcome back. In the last few videos we've learned the basics of HTML and we now know enough that we can begin to create our first uh, project, the Manchester Design Studio project. And again, if you want to see the uh, final version of this project, just go to manchestertemplate.info and you can see um, the completed version of this project. Now, we're going to follow a very deliberate process in creating our projects. And this process um, isn't written in stone anywhere. Some people use a very different um, process when they're creating a website. But this is going to be the um, steps that I'm going to follow um, as we learn to create um, our site. The first thing you should always do is um, have some sort of a plan. Have an outline for what you're actually creating. Um, in some cases, this means you're going to sit down with um, Photoshop or Illustrator or Fireworks and um, create a full mock-up of your website. Um, other people use graph paper and pencils, uh, colored pencils. I'm a graph paper and colored uh, pencils guy. And they just sketch out the design that they're going to um, create in their site. And basically, the two things that you want to know um, when you're done with your um, sketch is what the basic layout of the page is going to be. And you can see here I've got sort of this top area with my social media to the right and my logo to the left. And then I've got my top navigation here followed by my banner and my content area, my right hand sidebar, and then a footer down at the bottom. So you've got to have some sort of an idea of what you want the site to look like. Now we don't need to sketch out our site because um, we already have the finished version right here. But if you are working on your um, if you're working on your own project, you're definitely going to need to um, understand what you want your pages to look like. You also need to understand how people are going to get to the different areas of your site. And in the case of a small site like our project, well, we just have some simple top navigation here. But you want to know how your user is going to get to all of your pages, where you're going to place your links. Now, after you have a basic idea of what your pages are going to look like, and where the content and the links and everything is going to go, you're then ready to move on to step two in our process. And that's to set the site up in Dreamweaver. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, you'll remember when we created our first website, I came onto my desktop and I created a new empty folder for us to work in. And we're going to do the exact same thing. And again, I'm working on my desktop, but you can work in your My Documents folder. You can place this folder wherever you want. Just remember where you put it. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my desktop and select new and folder and I'm going to name this folder Manchester Project. And if you're on a Macintosh, um, you know, it's the exact same process. You just go to your menu, the file menu in the upper left hand corner. So I've created a folder for us to place our site inside of. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into Dreamweaver. And I'm going to go to the site menu and select new site. After that, I'm going to give the site a name. And again, this can be whatever you want it to be, be called. I'm going to call this Manchester Project. And then we go ahead and we select our local, local site folder, which we just created. I'm going to go ahead and click this yellow folder icon. And here we are on the desktop. And there's the Manchester Project folder. Don't just highlight it. You need to actually double click on it to go inside of it. And you'll see here it says select and I'm still on my desktop. But when I double click on that, it now says select a Manchester Project. So always make sure the name of your local site folder is here in the select box. And then I'm going to go ahead and click select in the lower right hand corner. And then save. And you'll now see I have a new empty site to begin working on. Now again, before when we started working on our test site, we created a few sample folders that we could put 
particular kinds of items inside of. And we need to do the exact same thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my folder here and select new folder. And I'm going to go ahead and call this images. So now I have a folder to place my images inside of. I'm going to do the exact same thing twice more. And I'm going to create a folder called CSS to put our style sheets in later. And a folder called JS to put our JavaScript documents in later. So I now have my three main folders that I'm going to go ahead and organize my content into. And obviously my pages will be right up here in the root folder. So now let's go ahead and create a couple of pages. I'm going to right click on my root folder up here at the top and select new file. And you'll remember I told you the first file in every site that you're going to go ahead and create is going to be called index.html. But for the construction document that we're going to be working on, I want to call it main.html. Later on, we'll work on index.html. But for right now, I'm going to call it main.html. And you'll see why later. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click on the CSS folder and create a new file. And I'm going to call this one styles.css. You'll see I had to delete the .html from there. So we now have a couple of files, main.html and styles.css to work with. And if I double click on my main.html file, you'll see there's that boilerplate text that Dreamweaver places in your HTML file for you. I'm going to go to edit select all or do a control A and then just hit delete on my keyboard to delete all that text because we don't need um, that in our page. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that off. So that's all there is to step two in our process. We've gone ahead and we've set up the site in Dreamweaver. We created a few initial folders so that we can organize our content properly. And then we created a file called main.html that's going to be our construction document. And then we're going to uh, or our working document, I should maybe call it, that would be uh, um, um, more explanatory. And then we created styles.css, then later on we're going to begin to create our CSS styles in. And we're now ready to move on to step three, and that's creating the page structure, um, setting up your HTML. And uh, that's what we're going to do in the next video. I'll see you then.